An effective small group activity for building phonemic awareness is the use of Elkonin sound boxes. We've been working on breaking apart and putting together phonemes or the individual sounds that we hear in each word. Okay? So first we're going to say the word. Next we're going to hold up one finger for each sound that we hear in the word. Then we're going to touch and move the chips for each sound that we hear in the word. We're going to touch each chip and say the sounds that we hear. And then we're going to read the whole word while tracking with our finger. I'm going to do an example first. So the word is saw. I'm going to say the word saw. Then I'm going to hold up a finger for each sound I hear. Saw. Then I'm going to touch and move the chips for each sound I hear. Saw. I'm going to touch each chip as I say the sounds in saw. Saw. Then I use my finger to track and read the word saw. Can you try that with me? Mm -hmm. So your first word is T. Say T. T. Hold up one finger for each sound you hear in T. T. E. Touch your chips and move them as you say each sound you hear in T. T. E. Touch each chip and say the sounds in the word. T. E. And you use your finger to track and read the word. T. T. Good job. All right. The next word, go ahead and clear your chips. The next word we're going to do is sun. Say sun. Sun. Say each sound and sun and hold up one finger for each sound you hear. Sun. Go ahead and move a chip for each sound that you hear in sun. Sun. You're going to touch, touch each chip and say the sound you hear in the word sun. Sun. Use your finger to track and read the word sun. Sun. So now we're going to do the same things, okay? But instead of using chips, we're going to be using our letter magnets, okay? So we've been working on breaking apart and putting together phonemes or the individual sounds that we hear in each word. So first, we're going to say our word. Next, we're going to hold up one finger for each sound that we hear in that word. Then we're going to move a letter, a magnet letter for each sound that we hear into our sound boxes. Then we're going to touch each letter and sound the word. Then we're going to read our word using our tracking finger. Okay? I'll do um, an example first. Okay? Kind of out here, boy. So the first word that I'm going to do is mop. So I'm going to say mop. Mop. I'll hold up one finger for each sound I hear in the word ma. Mm. Ah. I'm going to move the letters into my sound boxes as I say the sounds. Mm. Ah. I'm going to touch each letter and say each sound. Mm. Ah. I'm going to read my word using my tracking finger. Ma. You ready? Mm -hmm. First word is fin. I saw a shark fin in the water. Can you say fin? Fin. Hold up one finger for each sound that you hear in the word fin. Fin. Move your letter magnets into your sound boxes for each sound that you hear in fin. Fin. Touch each letter magnet and say the sounds that you hear in the word fin. Fin. Use your finger to track and read your whole word. Fin. All right, go ahead and move your magnets. Your last word is sit. I'm going to sit at this table. Sit. Can you say sit? Sit. Can you hold up one finger for each sound in the word sit? Sit. Go ahead and move your letter magnets into your sound boxes for each letter or sound in the word sit. Sit. Touch each letter magnet and say the sounds in the word sit. Sit. Use your finger to track and read the word sit. Sit. All right. Good job. Thank you for working with me today, friends.